All right, welcome back, uh, everyone. Before we went to the commercial, I wanted to, I was showing you a couple of low pressures, one moving out and another one moving in. Most of this will be lifted off towards the north here, but uh, high pressure. We have not seen much in the way of high pressure developing uh, down over the four corner states, which is typical. Uh, for this time of year. Typically, you get a monsoon high that develops over the four corner states, uh, the western southern plains here, and uh, that really heats Montana up, dries us out. Sometimes it can produce a little in the way of some thunderstorm activity, but uh, it's more so down into the uh, southwestern part of the country where the monsoon moisture goes. But uh, monsoon, not necessarily thunderstorms and moisture monsoon, more so means a shift in seasonal wind here and that's exactly what will kind of happen here over the next couple of days. You can kind of see a dome of heat here uh, building over the southwestern United States and some of that heat will come up into Montana but heading through the weekend and into the beginning of next week the dome of heat kind of breaks down. We'll see another little cool down coming here so uh, I'm not anticipating any prolonged dangerous heat that will really really dry us out and send the fire danger through the roof here anytime soon. Although we're slowly getting to that roof here. Uh, here's a live look at the Capitol now 74 degrees cloudy this morning, rain this morning. What a beautiful afternoon here for a lot of the state 73 into Great Falls. Temperatures even a little warmer out there around Missoula, more sunshine. Some of that warmth will be moving east uh, here for tomorrow, but Still only in the 60s, even Baker at 59 degrees. That's because we've still got clouds and uh, rain into the eastern part of the state. Not much in the way of thunderstorms here. The capital have dried out. A little shower up there around uh, Rogers Pass. And then a little shower or two up here around Fort Benton, pushing over the high woods. Big Sandy had a little thunderstorm off towards the south of town here recently. A lot of the activity is diminishing as this low moves out. Uh, there is some moisture into Washington and Oregon. Actually, this is a place that is looking at a uh, severe drought, coastal Washington and Oregon, believe it or not. So they can use a little rain out over there and they'll get some, but most of this moisture will go up through Washington into British Columbia and Fort Montana tomorrow. We'll see a decent amount of high clouds, meaning a mostly cloudy day, kind of grayish skies out there, not low clouds, high clouds all the way up at about 20, 30,000 feet here. An isolated shower is possible. And then we get into Thursday, more sunshine, a couple of isolated thunderstorms here, but I'm not seeing the widespread thunderstorm activity like we've been looking at here over the last few days. So here's the forecast for tomorrow for hump day. We get over the hump, so to speak, and the temperatures will start to warm up and we will start to dry out. It'll start feeling and looking a little more like July, uh, almost getting into the middle part of the month here. Uh, temperatures in the upper 70s and the lower 80s for most locations. And again, little grayish sky out there. It'll still be a decent day for Thursday an isolated thunderstorm, a little warmer and a little more sunshine here. So uh, that's looking a little more like a July forecast. And then into Friday, a few 80s temperatures getting close to the 90 degree mark in the eastern part of the state. Notice in the uh, south central part of Montana, we've got a couple of isolated thunderstorms coming through Saturday. Maybe a little more in the way of some thunderstorms and a little more in the way of some heat. A few more 90s there on the map. So. Yes, the temperatures are going to be warming up, but this weekend we've got another round of thunderstorms coming through Saturday, but more so Sunday for the capital and really for a lot of the state. You're making your outdoor plans, plan on having some thunderstorms around a Sunday afternoon. Great Falls, mostly cloudy tomorrow, starting to warm up mid 80s with more sunshine Thursday and Friday. And there it is, a couple of storms around Saturday, but storms likely on Sunday. Okay, great. Thanks for that, Curtis.